Hey guys, so I'm back for another video. Today I'm going to get my haircut done. First day back in the gym. Allegedly, and apparently every time, apparently. Yesterday we got some rolls in, um, but uh, we'll forget about that. So I'm going to hop on the bike and I'm going to cycle to the Harry Barbers where Dean Malloy is going to cut my hair. He was begging me for a shout out. Uh, just feed his ego for a little bit. So let's go. Personal problems. I forgot that facial recognition doesn't work with the masks. So there's no wedding inside the amount of uh, contact people have. They have it all isolated off into different units. really cold around the back of my head if you want to give dean a follow on instagram his name is at jujitsu barber and uh yeah he posts some of his haircuts on there out of the hairy barber in tullamore if you ever want to visit <laughs> no need. all right so because i got my haircut at 11 i missed the, the morning class but uh, i'll be here later on just turning up to see how so how everything is i'm gonna walk up here now So here we are with Jamie Hoolan. Uh, just first of all, how do you feel to be back? I'm delighted to be back. It's great to get our doors open. We initially thought we were closing for two weeks and it ended up being just under four months. So really happy to get the doors back open. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the safety protocols that we have in place so right now? We devised a new risk assessment um, in order to keep all our members and families and friends safe who are coming through the doors. We put a one-way system into the gym. We had always been very clean and had very good clean Protocols, but we've doubled up on those now and taken on extra staff in order to make sure the place is right. Just something a little bit different. Um, what's your favorite guard? What's my favorite guard? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Close guard? Would it not be uh, Colin and Steve guard? It's Colin and Steve. Colin actually. and Steve. Yeah, Colin Tell and us about Steve. that. Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Colin and Steve, so uh, one day I was in jiu-jitsu and I thought that there was a guard called Colin and Steve, which actually was collar and sleeve. <laughs> so we rechristened it as the Colin and Steve guard. It's a classic inside the gym <laughs> now. Uh, one last thing, what are some of the goals that you have now with post-COVID in improving and uh, building this gym into the best it could be? I guess um, it was a good way to restart our business, like a new business, and we want to introduce classes, we want to improve the facility and hopefully a few surprises. Look after our members, make sure that our members are happy and that our staff are happy and create you know, a happy environment for people to come and train and forget about the outside world. Perfect. Thank Thanks, you. Jack. Thanks very much.
How does it feel to have longer hair than me? How does it feel to have longer hair than me now? Oh, no, I don't I think I won that last round. I don't know, man. On points. On uh, points? Yeah. I was... Like, I can't remember if last a minute and a half, but I'm pretty sure I did well. Fair enough. Here, are you not meant to be quarantined? No, no, no man. No. Gee, man, I'm yeah. positive. I mean, <laughs> Billy Elliot on the mats. Uh, so during lockdown, the guys in the gym uh, installed a rock climbing wall. Uh, pretty cool. Um, I tried it yesterday and I peeled off a little bit of my hand. So yeah, looking forward to, to practicing on a lot more. I've got some uh, Beach J Outliers logos around and stuff. That show was unfortunately cancelled. I was supposed to have a match on it against Stephen Bradley. I'll let you guys know when I'm, I'm having that match um, and when it's going to be set again. So looking forward to that. So I'm back home now, it's nearly 6 o'clock, back for uh, the first ski class uh, since the lockdown. I haven't uh, worn the gi since I competed in the London Grand Slam back in March. Really excited to play some worm guard. So here are all my gis minus one or two. I've got uh, some old ones that I need to sell uh, in my wardrobe. First night back, I want to impress, so I think I might wear my uh, shoy roll here. Got that for my birthday uh, exactly one year ago. You could say we're commemorating something as well. Gotta pick out the rash guard too. This whole drawer is full of nobody stuff here. I've picked up so many uh, throughout the years and surprisingly enough, I go through it very quickly as well, so. I've got four belts here. Funny story about this one here. Um, it's a size way too small for me. I swapped this belt around with a, a guy in Lisbon when I was competing over there in September when I won double gold. He needed it to uh, to meet the, the belt requirements um, and I'd already finished up my division and uh, he never swapped it back. I could never find him. So he basically stole my belt. That was a bummer, but uh, at least I have three more. These two darker ones are um, tatami belts and this one above is the one I got when I got promoted to blue belt. I got it off uh, Tom King. Uh, because my coach was still a brown belt at the time. Uh, yeah, that's uh, about between two and a half and three years ago now, uh, back in October 2017. Uh, because of health and safety regulations uh, with the gym for COVID, we have to get changed beforehand and no use of the changing rooms at all uh, during training. So uh, I'm going to get changed now uh, into my gear and I'll see you in a bit when I'm on the mats. Six o'clock class, and then afterwards um, is the advanced class with uh, Kieran. We're going to be doing some uh, position around with rolling afterwards. So, Technique part of class. Kieran's got uh, about to go with some rounds. Uh, six sixes rounds, so uh, hopefully I don't die.
love a bit of Marcelo. So Philippe, how was your first day back? Oh, amazing. Amazing. Love to be back. <laughs> He's still waiting on me now, isn't he? Yeah. So just finished uh, five, six minute rounds. Gas tank is absolutely uh, gone. Um, really love being back here and uh, can't wait to be back here tomorrow. There's Sharon again. We got Guy in the morning and then we got Nogi tomorrow night. Let's do it all again. Liam, the people want to know where your socks are. Your stylish socks. What are socks? Socks? Socks, what? Where's your Pokemon socks? Oh, uh, yeah, I left them at home. Oh, no. <laughs> You have to say Pokemon before, otherwise I won't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, this is Autumn, and uh, Autumn's going to tell us what he has in his stash here. That he hid down all the way down there. Don't tell Kaylee. Oh god. It's a potato. Oh god. <laughs> it's a potato. Oh. Earlier on, I finally uh, bought myself a laptop and a camera. So I got a, a MacBook Pro and I also got a Canon PowerShot G7X. Um, they're all very good for uh, for vlogging. Loads of uh, storage space on the MacBook and uh, lots of good software for editing. And then the the Canon is very good for, uh, for vlogging because it's got a flip facing camera and it just has some um, extra perks and stuff that uh, it's better suited for that. So uh, looking forward to do that. Um, I should be shooting my next video with that equipment and with that software. So it'll be a little bit better quality. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that a little bit more. So that is it for today's vlog. It was a little bit shorter today. I'm going to mix up the, the times for my vlog um, just to see what type of content that you guys want to watch and um, hopefully you enjoyed. Please leave a like and a comment if you want to share and uh, press that subscribe button. Um, oh, guys.